Earlier today, Calumet Montana and Governor Greg Gianforte celebrated the company's first sustainable aviation fuel shipment to Shell Aviation. As part of a recent expansion through Montana Renewables, the company is producing the low emission alternative. Calumet executives praised local and state support in making the project a reality and said Shell is a logical partner to reach multiple airlines and airports. Company officials touted the project's economic and environmental impact. Creating over 50 permanent jobs and spending tens of millions with Montana contractors, companies, and services, we have delivered on our promises of bringing renewable fuels to the market and renewable hydrogen to the market. And now today, we stand here as the largest producer of sustainable aviation fuel in North America. Back in April, Delta Airlines announced an agreement to purchase 10 million gallons of sustainable aviation fuel from Shell. The governor also spent some time this afternoon at Vaughn Elementary School to designate the huckleberry as the official state fruit of Montana. MTN's Ryan Gamboa was there and has our story. The beloved Montana huckleberry has etched its rightful place in history, but it's only done so with the help of some pretty awesome fourth graders. Help with cancer, diabetes, a lot of other stuff, and you can do a lot of other things with it. Okay. And, and uh, it's very delicious. <laughs> Joseph Hammond is one of 18 Vaughn Elementary fourth graders who lobbied for House Bill 880, designating the huckleberry as Montana's state fruit. For a small school and for young kids, I think it has a big impact in what our government looks like and to know that they can carry away that we didn't have a state fruit. And because of them, we do now. House District 22 Representative Lola Sheldon Galloway helped draft the bill and provided the students with a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The state should be proud that the law process could include fourth graders in it and that every citizen should, can be involved in the lawmaking process. The fourth grade class petitioned to their town to pitch their bill to Governor Gianforte at their school. He obliged, and those awesome fourth graders made history. Not only did they draft the bill, they traveled to Helena and testified in front of the House Committee and the Senate Committee on behalf of their bill, and you heard them, they're persuas persuasive. For one fourth grader, this experience gave her the opportunity to work with the woman she looks up to. It was, it was awesome, it was cool that I was able to be with my grandma when I did it, and it was I, I just, I have like a connection with my grandma, so it was really nice to be with her and not like any other legislator. Huckleberries might get all the glory after today, but learning the process of our state's government is pushing them for change tomorrow. But other people might think, huckleberries are bad. It should be a strawberry or a watermelon or a choke cherry. They're better. Which they might try to change that, but it's already a bill. Mrs. Brooks' says students are already lobbying for its next bill to the school board. 15 extra minutes of recess. In Vaughn, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.